All right, what's three things I've learned building an e-commerce business that does more than 150 million a year in revenue? Number one, you have to embrace the chaos. If you're a control freak, you're never gonna scale. You know, move so fast you break stuff. Number two, email and SMS marketing still work. I'm sending over 900 million emails a month. You know, SMS, I'm getting 90% open rates. This is this still works. This still works. Don't just re rely on paid ads and social media. Okay. Number three, you got to master the 12 divisions of business. If you want to build something small, you can, you know, be good at two or three parts of business, but you have to become a business black belt or at least attempt to be in all 12 divisions of business. So yeah, I'll, I'll put a little link if in my bio or right here. If you want to, I'll, I'll record more walking around Sweden about the 12 divisions of business or just keep watching. All right, while well, I walk here around beautiful Stockholm, Sweden, been traveling the world. I've got offices in five countries, so I kind of rotate around. Let's talk about the 12 divisions of business. When I was doing smaller businesses, when I started out as an entrepreneur, I just had to be good at, you know, two or three things. Now to scale something, my e-commerce holding company is doing more than 150 million in revenue a year. It's a whole different ball game. You got hundreds of employees and staff. So you can apply this though, even if you're at a smaller scale. So number one, you got 12 divisions. So it goes, number one is people. That's your HR function. Number two is product development. Number three is legal. Number four is uh, <coughs> uh, finance and accounting. Number five is push marketing. Number six is pull marketing. Number seven is outbound and in-person sales, phone or in-person. Division eight is tech. Division nine is customer support. Division 10 is fulfillment, especially if you have a physical product, warehousing, so on, logistics, so on. Division 11 is uh, capital raising. And division 12 is M&A function, buying companies, redeploying profits. So when I think about, you know, white, I do jujitsu, you know, Brazilian jujitsu, you got kind of a white to black belt, you even have coral belt and red belt, but you gotta at least get to a purple belt in all 12. There's a lot of myths in business that I see. You know, be careful who you're learning from on, online. There's a lot of people doing a million in revenue, teaching, and there's nothing wrong with that. But there's a certain level of skill that you'll gain. I've seen it in my own experience as you, you run something bigger and more complex, something that's actually more worth implementing. So you wanna be at least a purple belt, white, blue, purple, brown, black. At least a purple belt in all 12 divisions. You can't be an imbalanced entrepreneur. It's just like a chain. You will fail at the weakest link and that will bring down even your greatest efforts. And you see that a lot, even in famous entrepreneur stories. Steve Jobs, you know, he got kicked out of his own company. He was a black belt in product development in many areas, but maybe he wasn't a black belt in some of those important you know, some of the other divisions and that's what brings you down. So constantly, I call this, I used to do a lot of consulting, called it weak link training. So where is your weak link in these 12 areas? For me, I was, nat if you're an entrepreneur, you're probably naturally strong in division two, product development. Um, you may be good at the, the, the marketing functions, push and pull marketing, a lot of, people watching these videos will be good at social media, virality, paid ads, but that's just two. You got 10 more to go. And I, they're kind of in order. The 12 function, M&A is the final frontier, which very few people learn, but those people who create real wealth are masters of M&A. Look at Elon Musk. He didn't start Tesla. He merged into it. He, uh, sorry, he didn't start PayPal. He merged into PayPal. It was an M&A transaction. He didn't even start Tesla. He bought it. That's an M&A, an acquisition function. So you, when you look at the true titans of business, wherever it is, they built skill in many places. Now I'll tell you, one of the places where a lot of entrepreneurs are weak, still white belts, is around the finance function, accounting, so on. Um, I think most entrepreneurs were guilty of that. It's not why you got into business. You didn't want to be an accountant, but you have to be. Uh, at least a purple belt in accounting. And I'll tell you, a deadly sin in my book is just 
a delegator. E Look, I'm the CEO, I delegate, but not like most people think. I would say I collaborate more than I delegate. So I would be very careful. A lot of people say, Ty, I don't need to learn all 12 divisions. I heard somewhere on social media, somebody said, just get good at something and then hand it off to somebody else. I call complete BS on that. Uh, it's just BS. Look, if you look at somebody, and of course it's not cool to say that, and I'm not saying you'll have exact skill. You will not be a black belt in all 12, but Elon Musk is a purple or better belt in every part of business. He understands M&A. He understands raising capital. He raised billions at the beginning. He understands marketing, both push and pull marketing. He understands you know, customer support, obviously product development, even HR. He's brought in some of the great engineers to work with them. So this framework is much more powerful. It's not as catchy on social media. A lot of social media is just get good at one thing and then delegate it out to other people. Oh my God, I wish business was that simple. <laughs> I wish there was a whole bunch of amazing, I mean, I'm fortunate enough to have a bigger budget. I've hired the top lawyers in the world for, and I still look over their shoulder. The best framework from the, the for the 12 is not delegate, it's collaborate and oversee. Like Ronald Reagan said, trust but verify. Don't be, when your accountant gives you your books for the month or the quarter or the year, you print those out and double check them. And I, I tell all my leaders, you find something wrong. Don't ever go in the mentality that you delegated slash collaborated with somebody and you just blindly hand it off to them. This is the fatal flaw, the fatal flaw from which it's hard to recover. So forget all this stuff you're, you're hearing on social media, it's a big lie by people who yet haven't gotten to the level of business to, re, to, you know, pressure exposes the truth. So when you're small, you're doing a couple, you know, one to 10 million in revenue in a business, yeah, you can go out and teach people, oh, I've just delegated all. But as you get larger, the cracks in the foundation will show. So this video is specifically for people who are interested in scaling, you know, scaling to an, a much larger level. Very few businesses ever get over 10 million and a minuscule amount get over 100 million in revenue. Yet, if you're gonna build something of value to the world, you know, you might wanna take it to its total addressable market size, whatever that might be. You know, some businesses naturally scale larger than others, but you will be held back massively if you go in with the mindset, oh, I don't need to be good at all 12 of these divisions, or oh, I don't like one of these divisions. Forget like. You get paid in proportion to the difficulty of problems you solve. Something that you don't like might be the thing that you'll have the most competitive edge because probably other entrepreneurs don't like it. And therefore, if you get good at it, you will have a competitive advantage. It's a huge competitive advantage to have actual operating skill. If you have, a lot of people tell me, Ty, I have, I'm creative, I have a great idea. Well, that's great. You're attacking from one angle. Remember, the three classic factors of economics are land, labor, capital. So land, to me, represents brand and product, the thing you're selling. And most entrepreneurs are very strong on brand, right? They're like, look, I'm a, I'm a brand guy. I have an idea. I have this. I have an innovation, and that's great. But what about labor? Labor is the operating skill that you bring to the table and your team brings to the table. And that's what I'm talking about when I say the 12 divisions of business. It's like, okay, are you going deep on operating skill? And just, oh, hey. <laughs> uh, so few people actually focus as entrepreneurs because you gotta learn to hypnotize your mind to do what most people won't do. That's where the money's made. That's why, you know, you get paid in proportion to the difficulty of problems you solve. You get paid in proportion also uh, to the lack of interest most entrepreneurs have in a certain area that you hypnotize yourself into being good at. Most entrepreneurs don't want to learn accounting, so you should learn accounting, you know? <laughs> most entrepreneurs don't want to master the customer service function, yet that is an area of competitive advantage if you can master that. There's that website, uh, that app, Hotels Tonight. They answer you back in two minutes. It's a powerful angle. I still remember 
you know, book in a hotel with them because they mastered the customer support function. If you can master all, all 12, it's a little bit like boxing. Boxing, there's probably not more than 12 things you need to learn, but you got to get good at all of them, you know? You got to write, <laughs> you got to cross, you got to jab, you got to uppercut, you got to, you know, uppercut to the face, uppercut to the body, you've got to slip either side. You know, it, 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 there's only so many things in boxing you need or Muay Thai to really, and even Jiu Jitsu. There's not really more than 12 techniques you really need to know for mo. I mean, unless you're at the competitive level. So in business, it's how do I balance out my time and my focus on all 12? What I do is Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I focus on, every day I focus on a different function a little bit more. So I'll have like Monday will be my, M&A and capital focus. You know, Tuesday will be product innovation and maybe push marketing. So you can divide these 12 things up into four or five days, do two or three things a day, and then you're building a well-rounded business. That can scale. Everybody wants the formula for scaling. Everybody thinks scaling is just around marketing, but it's not. <laughs> I wish it was so simple. Scaling is built around, are you a well-rounded machine? If you look at MMA, I like that analogy of fighting. You know, the art of war is a business book, they say. Well, MMA, at first you had fighters that were only good at one thing. Ooh. Maybe they knew karate so they could punch. They immediately lost to the Gracies in the first UFCs. Ooh. Got loud thing. They immediately lost to the people who knew grappling. And then when grappling became powerful, they started to lose to people who knew Muay Thai. And it's just this continual evolution. It's kind of like game theory. You know, a game theory as one party gets good at one thing, it loses its competitive advantage. So business is built. Peter Thiel has a great book, Zero to One on monopolistic, not just monopoly, but competitive advantage and the power of competitive advantage. And you're gonna have to take that approach to building your ops your operational mastery. Don't just be a master of one. I don't, it's, you know, hate to use that Bruce Lee <laughs> saying about the man who practices a thousand kicks. I don't fear the competitor who's good at one of the 12 divisions. I fear somebody, I don't fear somebody who's a red belt in one of the 12 and sucks at the rest. But I do fear somebody who's a purple belt in all 12. It's a more formidable opponent, so put a comment below by the way I'm gonna put a little link sometimes I've been getting a lot of people as I've been sharing this 12 frameworks this 12 division framework people kind of want to learn more I've been building out a mastermind specifically for more advanced entrepreneurs who want to scale um, obviously I can't teach the whole 12 divisions on my walk to the gym in Sweden so I'm gonna put a link schedule a call with me and my team if you want to uh, see about joining. I got an online mastermind and a global one where I meet in person. So if that's interesting to you, click here, schedule a call. Um, my team will reach out, see if you're a good fit. Looking for people doing at least a million in revenue. And, and more importantly, you're stuck at the scaling. You, you, you're not quite scaling as quickly. Most entrepreneurs hit a revenue number and just sit there for a decade, you know, or regress backwards. So if that's you and you want to Want me to show you what I've learned building 150 million revenue e-com business. That's just one of my holding companies. I have other holding companies with different revenue. Um, but since a lot of you are into e-com and social media, I thought I would speak on that subject. So let's meet. I got a weekly mastermind I'm doing on Zoom and then I've got meeting in person all around the world. So, you know, double down on yourself and your skill set. I'll show you some stuff that'll save you a decade. So click the link here, schedule a call. Talk to you soon.